Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going this evening or morning, wherever you guys are at? Hope you guys are having a great day today. So, just from the past previous stream, I just hit over 100 followers on Twitch, so... I really want to give a shout out to everybody who's been around and been sticking around with me since I started this probably about maybe a year ago is when I first showed my very first stream um, to somebody as just a way to kind of um, just show the games that I really love to play. So I just really want to thank everyone who's been around for the ride for the past like almost year to get to this point helps me reach affiliate when I um, started taking things pretty seriously in the past like couple of months so thank you all thank all of you for being here I think all I think all my friends has been around here and it's been supporting me throughout uh, this journey and it's just the beginning it's just the start so um, yeah and um, you know we first started off with playing like a few adventure games and RPGs and action adventure and um, I haven't really done any horror games lately so this is gonna be very interesting because I'm not usually a horror game um, gamer um, you know I mainly play story driven games but I but considering this I really wanted to pick um, you know some games that were still in the horror genre but still had like really good baselines of story to me story in gaming is like it's what's really evolved in the past god like 20 or 30 years or so and thank you gene thank you yth uh how about pinoy gaming for being in the chat he's he's also streaming right now so um let me just do this real quick for you for you guys are not following him he's playing ghost of tsushima right now but there's his link if you want to go ahead and check him out he plays ghost of, ghost of tsushima and also other games i also do play with him occasionally um on my other friend dark howl he's not here right now but i'll be streaming with him in another day i might do a, i might do a host on his channel or something like that for it but uh that's kind of like the plan that we're gonna do um that's gonna be around probably 10 or 11 um friday 10 or 11 p.m. probably uh, on Friday on Hawaii Standard Time. So, oh sweet. We'll definitely check him out when he can. Leave him a follow. Uh, check out some of his VODs and his videos. You know, he he plays the, he right now he's doing um, a new game plus um, difficulty setting on Lethal on Expert HUD, which is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to play it. And um, I do play Ghost. Ghost. Uh, I do play the the multiplayer with him. So definitely check him out and just uh, you know definitely give him a follow if you like his content. Yeah, absolutely, man. I'll see. I'll see you in a, in a minute. Um, but yeah, so I I like you know my whole thing about gaming is just that I wanted to really show people like what what are the games that I like and what kind of games I like to play. And uh, what games kind of like gra gravitated, you know, toward me to wanting to play more. And um, I feel like Man of Madon is going to be a really good entryway into uh, the genre. So, um, yeah, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I hope you dig some of this music. This is all music from Monster Cat. I am um, affiliated. I have, I do have a gold membership with them, so I can post their music. So, thank goodness we're not having to worry about DMCA strikes on this vod. So, um, yeah. If you guys like their music, definitely go check out their YouTube channel and definitely go check out their website. I mean, they have like awesome music on there. So, and it's only five dollars to subscribe to them. So definitely like check them out. They have awesome artists on there, and some of them are pretty unknown, but um, I do spend some of their music sometimes. Um, one other announcement. I'm going to be on another channel, and I'm going to give a shout out for them as well. Like, 
I'm gonna be checking out another channel. I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be spinning on Lander, Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm gonna be doing a set right on Friday night um, at nine o'clock p.m. Hawaii time. That's gonna be around eleven p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys really like drum and bass, you guys like this music and the track playing right now, this is kind of like drum and bass. So I'll be playing stuff like this on there. So guys, definitely check it out. Um, and support, and, and if you can, check out some of the music on there. It's going to be super sick. They, they, you know, we have some of the best drum and bass DJs around. And they've been doing this for a very long time. So uh, I feel very blessed to be a part of their their DJ scene when, when I do play that genre. I absolutely love like the artists that we have here in Hawaii. We have a really good like group of people that are from here. So shout out and give them a support and give them a follow. Um, I do want to try and see if I can get them to stream more uh, on their channel so they can do more stuff on their channels. But um, I'll have to talk to them later about that. But right now, Lander only does a stream every second Friday of the month. So. It's 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 uh it's an opportunity it's a once in you know once a month opportunity to check them out so definitely definitely uh, give them a, a follow and everything like that. As for the games, um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of like jump into it right now, um, and I hope you guys are excited for this playthrough. Uh, uh, let me just switch screens real quick. Alrighty. Let me just like uh, change my audio real quick. There you go. Just checking to make sure we're in the game. Let me make sure my volume is on. Okay, right now it's just very quiet. We don't have anything. It's the ominous silence of the game right now. Again, I want to thank everybody who's watching right now. Whoever's in the chat, wherever you guys are from, definitely I appreciate all of you. And I see, I see sweets in the chat right now. I know this is really late for you, so I don't expect you to stay here all the way through. But I wanted you to at least like check out some of the gameplay. I'm sorry that is that it's so late, but I had to wait till at least the sun came down. I can't stream this. So let me move my chat actually. Uh, let me move this like maybe. I want to put it maybe. I want to maybe change the dimensions of this real quick. Give me a sec. I don't want that chat to be like super obnoxious in your face. How about we put that like maybe, I think the choices come over here. So we're gonna like, actually I'll put everything on the left. Let me just move this, whoa, I can't do that. Um, I do, okay. Just bear with me. I'm gonna move some things around. I don't want the chat to be obnoxious in your face. And I'm also gonna add, um, I'm just gonna add something real quick for you guys. Uh, just give me a sec. Hold on guys, let me just take this in. There you go. Now I think I have everything kind of situated for us. I think this is gonna be like the, probably the best layout for it. Yep, I kind of like how everything looks. Let's go ahead and start this. It is very quiet right now. Very quiet. I'm assuming it's gonna get loud. Let me uh let me see if I can bump the volume a bit. Maybe to here. Try it a little bit a little bit lower. Cause it's like super quiet. Very, very quiet, huh? Okay, probably about there. 
we're obviously going to be play alone. And now, um, one of the interesting things is, is that Man of Madon is actually bait. Like, what I didn't know, and this is like, I did a little bit of research on like what what they did. I didn't do any research on the story. I know a little bit about what happens in it. Um, I don't know the middle pieces, but I do kind of know what happens in the end. But I'm not going to spoil it for everybody who's 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 watching this, um, because the middle parts I don't really know. But the interesting thing is that the the spooky thing about this particular game is that the the story, not not the plot, but the story of like what the ship is about, because this is about a ship. It takes place on the ocean. The story about what the ship is about is actually a true thing. It's actually a mystery. There is a there is a ship, kind of like a ghost ship around World War II, where there's some pretty spooky things that happened on it. And there's like records and everything about it. Um, I'm going to leave it at that just so that we can experience it. But if you have the chance to take a, to actually look it up, it's, it's pretty intense. It's called the... Orang Madan, that's the name of the ship. And in translation, it means Man of Madan. And that's how they got, that's how they came up with this story for it. So if you guys want to check it out and what the story is about, it's, it might be a little spoilery though. But once we get to, like, if you really want to find out about it, definitely check it out. It's pretty, it's pretty scary. Or at least until you finish the playthrough with me. Uh, we're going to go with New Story. And we're gonna do new save data, of course. I'm glad that we can have save files, because that's one thing that Until Dawn doesn't have. That means if we have new save files, we can, like if we need to plat this game, we can go back into it and everything, so. And I hope everybody had a great day today. I hope that uh, this doesn't depress you at all. This is a, most of this is a work of fiction, but you know I wanted to do something fun. I don't easily get spooked, but there are this this game is pretty spooky in certain parts. And let me know if there's any lag. There is lag, I'll have to kind of decrease certain settings. Am I getting any lag from you guys? Let me know, let me know if you have lag, because if I do, I might have to restart this. Alrighty, Buster, we better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Alrighty, um, wait, is it coming, is it, is it, wait, is it, I'm looking at the stream right now, oh, um, we're gonna go with this, oh, I have to use R1 to choose, uh, I guess I just wanna know about my son, Will how's it he, now, uh, it looks like it's normalizing, is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him. Let me move this slightly. Uh, shoot, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Bamboo tile, I guess. <laughs> Let me move this a little bit. Can't play, Jumpai. Go. 
你看到了什么？ R2 to pick up objects, R1 to examine. It looks like a fish? Okay. Hey, what's up, ABMXI? Sorry for the late stream. I think my lag is gone now. It was a little laggy in the beginning, though. 死亡和厄运肯定会随之而来。Death. I think it's starting to go away. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? Yeah, it looks like it's still alive. What the hell, man? I was having a little bit of lag earlier. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? 你能比你的朋友打得更好吗，勇士 ？Fine, sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. So, no, let me like, actually play this. <laughs> I'll give it a whirl. This is where it kind of teaches you how to use like the controls, I think, if I remember correctly. <coughs> oh yeah, you don't have to use like the X button. I can see there's a little bit lag. I thought you said you could fight. Oh, let me let me finish this and see if I can finish it real quick. Oh, what? Thank you for coming to play. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. Everybody, everything looking okay in the stream, just to be sure. Reckless, selfish, altruistic, insecure, and selfish. Great. And this is a little bit updated from Until Dawn. There are a little bit more interesting mechanics in this game. Instead of having like the, the bars you had in Until Dawn, it literally just changes um, characteristics and also their characteristic dialogue. So before it was just kind of like, you know, affections toward like different characters. This one it's more um, the, char the characterization of them actually changed. As far as that go as far as that is, that's all that I know. We're gonna get to like a stopping point, and then I'm gonna see if like if you guys feel like I should uh, refresh the stream at a lower res, then just hit me up in the chat. Because we hey, might man. we might actually have to do that. Hey, where's my where's my fifty cent? Fifty cent? What fifty cent? Come on, man. Hey, fuck off. Nobody pushes me around. In my medical opinion, these men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brick. This game is bottom of man of a dog. I'm doing very well. We were running, yeah, we were running someone through the raid the other day. Uh, raid chapter one. We're gonna do a raid chapter two pretty late. Like, well, it'll be around my time, like, okay, but we're gonna do it probably around, like, nine o'clock my time. No, like, maybe 10 or 11 o'clock my time on Friday night. Sorry that I haven't been making your streams, but like I'm gonna make it a point to go. But 
yeah, the true, the interesting thing is that this is based on a real, a real thing. It's not completely made up. If you ever want to actually know a little bit about the lore of like what the game is about, it's a little spoilery, but you can look up the, you can look up the name of the actual ship. By the way, we're in like 19, like 40s. By the way, obviously, from like what it looks like. So, um, just uh, just keep that in mind. Okay, let me do that. Rotate. Rotate. Okay. Um, let's see what else is on. Let you guys know, I'm probably gonna mess up a lot. I'm gonna try and keep our characters alive, but uh, look at that dead body. Just look at that. Look at that dead body. Um, anything else? No, no, nothing. Okay. It still has those weird camera angles from until. So that's the only thing. But the animations are much smoother. Much more smoother. Definitely from PS3 to PS4, from until dawn to this, it's, there's a huge, big difference. Oh, there's nothing. You can stare at the camera, right? You can stare at the camera. You can stare at the camera. Let's see which way. Uh, I guess. Just be spooked. Uh, I guess we can open. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out. Let's see if I can get some. Let's get that going. Where is it? Just so people can see what we're what we're looking at. Yeah. Okay. Come on. There you go. This is a secure game. Yeah, I'm so glad they got rid of the motion sensor. the most scary thing about the game so like that because I played a I played a little bit of Little Hope just to get a taste of like what the game is kind of what these games are kind of like what was that? Um, 
Yeah, like one thing, one major difference between this and Until Dawn is you don't have like that that dumb motion where like you have to hold the the controller steady. We don't have that, but we have like the heartbeat, the quick time event, the QTEs. Oh, what is? Th oh gosh, this guy's. Like, I don't think this is like I should be doing this, but whatever. Hey, Charlie. Locked. Hell. Well, we don't have the. They still have the QTEs, but uh. Rapid key presses. Oh, fuck no. Yeah, well, I think the scary thing is actually keeping it from being alive. That song. <laughs> of course, if that was regular, I probably would have died. See, wait, let me see if I can do that in the controls, because I, I do get like carpal tunnel issues with like the repeated button presses. Maybe it's like an accessibility. Yeah, there you go. I want this on. Yeah. Um, background, sidebar. Okay, we can leave the rest on. Yeah. I should have probably maybe searched where he was at before opening that door, though, but whatever. God damn. Another sip? Who's the lucky winner? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Look at his face, though. But the crazy thing is he's dead, but there's no wounds on him. There's not like a single scratch on his body. That's interesting. Oh wait. Whoa, whoa, what? Whoa, what? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, it's supposed to go forward. it's a middle bar it looks like there's a doorway there but hold l1 to run to walk faster is it locked strange feeling right now. Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this guy's Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? Everybody doing in the chat? And if the 
lag is if the lag is really really bad, let me let me know in the chat, guys. Okay. I might need I might need to refresh it. So just let me know. Uh, try and watch the VOD later. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Have a good one. You take care, sweets. Thank you for stopping by and being here. lower the music right here because I might get like a uh, strike on this but this is the beginning this is the introduction to the game how does the game look ABMXI so far I'm fighting the copy strikes uh, the, the DMCA strikes right now just pretend that there's like some bitchin' like, you know, rock music happening right now. Some epic like, you know, like grunge like rock music just like pounding in your head like, yeah, yeah, this is sick. All right, all right, it's probably, it's probably gonna start up soon, let me, let me see. Oh, yeah. All right, I think I think we're back to normal. I think we're I think we're about. I think I'm okay.
That was unfortunate. I got that guy killed. Yikes. Hello. And welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out you see we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody still none of us want for it to come too soon do we As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. Yeah, Gene, he's kind of like pictures the, in this world the doctor that can guy, show you kind some of like until dawn. possible futures. But you see, you're you going to see him in, in this one them, and also in Little Hope as well. Make He's in both of them. Decisions. He's kind of like the Crypt Keeper. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. There's gonna be at least some. There's gonna be at least like a few people that are gonna get killed in this playthrough because I, I, I'm doing all the decisions completely blind. Um, but we're gonna try our best to get through it. And try to make the best decisions based off of how the characters would normally act. At least try our best. I don't know if I'm going to decide to plat this game, but maybe, maybe I will. So we're in the French Polynesia. Brad is the innocent guy. And Brad and Alex is Brad's brother and he's insecure and motivated. Okay. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh... It's... It's what? It's embarrassing taking them by yourself. It's embarrassing you came all the way out here expecting me to hold your hand. Yeah, Brad is a dick to us. We get it. <laughs> Whoa, he's careful. the older brother, he's the younger brother. That dive brother. cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? Yes. I thought I was invited. Already Julia got my wanted first you to come along. Of the game. For real? Yeah, yeah. Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. First trophy. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Shut Ooh. up, older douche brother. Sorry, I'm a little we snappy. Like I'm just. The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man. But I'm sure we will like you. We will change Julia? how your character reacts. It's been rough. Let's see. Uh, must be. We're gonna do empathetic. 
you're gonna do the hard yeah, one. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Must be tough. No worries, man. Because you're the innocent guy. Oh. We're not gonna make a wise yeah. remark for yep. you, bro. Right on cue. What? We're gonna Conrad keep, doesn't we're gonna think keep we have you enough fuel. Ah, we're gonna make you brave. Because I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. If you survive. Let's see how his uh, relationship updated. Witty, innocent, truthful, and envious. And we have like a little bit of affection. To, we have a little, in terms of our relationship with Alex, it's gone up. So that's sweet. Nice. We, we're just going to make sure we don't give him, we got to make sure we give him a little bit of a backbone though. So hopefully we can play that right. Let's get back. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input so on Gene, do you see like the, yeah, the difference what? between this and until uh, dawn already? Because I'm like, kind of a big uh, I, I noticed it right away when I saw about April's playthrough. About finishing med school? No, but it's just it's, it's a little kind bit more of a big life choice, you know? One thing I, liked it. I don't know what's the right thing to do. Um, let's do, let's give it some thought. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Ooh, what does it say? Oh, it's like opening up like um like memories and things like that. Got it. Okay. There's like moral com it's like the moral compass kind of thing. So every char so the cool thing is that every character has like these like um moments and things like that and there are like links to like how these traits like happen which is neat and then these are like these are the actual way they do the secrets in the game like you know like the uh, premonitions and all that stuff and then there's like uh we'll, we'll talk about we'll get to the pictures like later but like um i just want to kind of show this off bearings hey Conrad's sister Alex's girlfriend okay foolhardy relaxed oh <laughs> sorry Connie this is Alex hey what's up man it's Conrad <laughs> watch it sis Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss you. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with Mindy. Uh, we can do, yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, cool. Uh, tight. Uh, I, l I love beer. You're gonna make you likable with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> right. I knew. Uh, it, right on, hey, Brad. I knew about this I like for like a, your ship. a while. I saw like a few uh, episodes jib. of this in a playthrough, from, like a couple it. years back. Um, but I just didn't have the chance to play it. You ever do any diving before? Uh. I'll give you some backbone. Yeah, totally, all the time. Nice. I was worried they're gonna stick me with a noob. Oh uh, nope, not noob. I can practically breathe underwater at this point. So you uh, dive a lot? A couple, three times, you know. Let's see what I said. Oh, deceitful. I better change that. Here and there, family trip. We don't want him to be that way. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want him to like completely lie to people. That's that's pretty messed up. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Courageous and impatient. Okay. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go?
breath to get it all out. Uh, yeah. You, I do uh, see the lag in my yeah. stream right now. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. Do you guys want me to pause this for a bit and have me refresh it? What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Um. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. Let me go. What you got? I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a bit. These 